Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Today, this is going to be a short video on how to get your beacon mic set up with a mute option that actually works. Since it isn't implemented yet in the beacon software, so if you go into the beacon software and go into your microphone settings and you go here to the beacon mic lighting options you have your your color that you want and how you want the the rgb ring to light up on your mic but this option down here um where you have beacon mic other lighting options when muted do nothing turn led ring to a solid color or turn off the led ring you can set this to whatever you want but the beacon mic does not have a mute option there's no there's no option to to mute it except for just with the windows default mute which is if you go to your windows settings and go to sound settings and you scroll down to this option here for more options it brings up this little sound and on recording the actual beacon mic, the physical hardware, this is a software um, beacon mix create created, and that's what you use to use the beacon mix create. But the actual physical microphone option, if you click on that, go to properties and go to levels, you actually have this mute button. If you hit mute, it will change it to the mic RGB to red. I have it set to red over here in the mix create software or in the microphone software. So I have the mix create, but the mute button on the actual mix create is not tied to the physical microphone. It's tied to the, it's tied to this and this in windows, windows does not understand that this is the same thing as this and will not mute it. It will not function correctly. So to get around that for now, you will need to have um, something that can set a function for you. I have a Corsair keyboard. I believe it's a K95 or whatever, platinum or whatever, and it has the G keys on the left-hand side. You can actually use Elgato Stream Deck software to, to, uh, to set those keys up. And I will show you that if you just have that keyboard. So you go over here to the Corsair G keys in the Stream Deck. And you have these keys here and you can actually set these keys as, as a mute toggle on and off. Now you do need a plugin for the stream deck software, which isn't there by default, but you can go easily go out to apps.elgato.com slash plugins. And you're going to want to download this plugin right here. It's called audio mute by Fred Emot. And you download that and it puts itself over here in your menu in the Elgato Stream Deck software under, under uh, audio devices. And you just drag and drop this over here. And you can title it, call it mute. And then you have to go down here and choose the actual physical hardware. So it's, you come down here and you find specific input device, microphone, beacon mic. And now when I hit this button on my keyboard, it will physically mute and actually activate the RGB ring to do what you want it to do. And I know it's a workaround for now, but beacon says that they are going to work on it. They just have higher priorities because their software crashes and bugs that they currently have. And believe me, they do have it. But it's a great mic, and this is a great, easy alternative until then. So I thought I'd just make an, a, a small video for people. Now, if you have a Stream Deck, which I also have, you can do the same thing on here. You drag and drop that onto here, and then now you have a little mute button. And so when you hit the physical mic mute button on your Stream Deck, 
it will change the icon to a show that it's muted. And that's really all there is to it. So I hope this helped you guys out today. And I hope you'll join me by subscribing and clicking the notification bell so you'll know when I make new content. See you on the next one.